What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back playing some Pokemon Sword and Shield, hopping onto that ranked double ladder for Series 8. And ladies and gentlemen, we got ourselves another amazing team to show up for you guys today. Today, we got ourselves a Palkia team alongside with Steam Engine Colossal and Surf Dragapult. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. Thank you guys so much for the support that has been going out across the channel. We have finally finished up basically all the restricted pokemon that i wanted to show off there's like one or two that i still have to show off but the teams are on their way so i figured in the meantime we start reusing some pokemon showing off some different teams and getting after it on that rank ladder but this team right here was sent in by one of you guys and i realized it was by my boy Mambi. Mambi actually makes pokemon videos and he does some competitive online uh pokemon content so definitely go check him out link will be in the description below shout out to you Mambi, for dropping this team and making it a rental code but rocking out on our team, top left corner, we're getting started with Urshfoot over here. We got the water one, actually, so this is going to be a nice little change of events, considering we're always seeing the dark one up and about in the rank ladder. But this thing has Unseen Fist, the Focus Sash, and then Surgeon Strikes, Close Combat, Aqua Jet for first turn priority, and Detect. Right next to him, we got Galarian Moltres with that Life Orb and the Berserk ability. Normal moveset for him, nothing new going on with Fiery Wrath, Air Slash, Nasty Plot to set up, and Protect. Behind my face cam, one of my favorite legendaries. We got Palkia right here, and I'm glad I'm actually showing off another Palkia team because it's getting me more excited for the Diamond and Pearl remake. Seriously, loving it. Cannot wait to get after it on that game. But let me know in the comment section down below for question of the day, which game are you guys going to be picking up? Is it going to be Brilliant Diamond or Shining Pearl? Personally, I'm leaning towards Pearl, but... I'm still on the borderline for Diamond. I do not know. I really don't know as of yet. I guess we'll see if any exclusive come out, and then I'll make my decision from there. But Palkia over here is Water Dragon type with Hydro Pump, Fire Blast, Spatial Rend as his signature stab move, and Earth Power. It's holding out a Soul Fest and has the Pressure ability. Right next to him, we got Colossal with that Steam Engine and Weakness Policy. Once we trigger that, we get plus 6 Speed Boost and plus 2 Attack Boost on Special Attack and Regular Attack. Whoa. My screen just turned off, and that kind of that kind of phased me out. If you guys looked at the face cam, I'm like, like, oh, what just happened? I thought my game like shut off or something, but it's just my controller wasn't moving for a little bit. But this thing is rock and fire type with meteor beam, heat wave, earth power, and protect. Bottom left corner, we got Roll Boom over here with the Grassy Surge and the Miracle Seed to make grass moves do a little bit more damage. We got Grassy Glide, Fake Out, Taunt for Trick Room or any other support mods, and Protect. Then in the final spot is going to be our support Dragapult with Surf to trigger that Colossal Steam Engine. We got Willow Wisp for uh, Physical Attackers, Light Screen to set up against Special Attackers, and Breaking Swipe as our final move. Guys, if you want to try out this team for yourself, rental code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop onto that ranked up ladder, try to get some wins with this Palkia team. First battle coming at you guys, going up against a Zacian Colossal team as well. So we're going to see a Mirror Colossal matchup here. And he also has Mind Blown Bacephalon over here. And that thing can do a ridiculous amount of damage. He might just set up the Tailwind with uh, Whimscott and just throw a Mind Blown and try to just dominate my Pokemon. We got to definitely watch out for that. But we do have a, a few Water Pokemon in order to eat up them shots. So I don't think I'm too, too worried about that. He might not even bring it in. But who should I go into? How should I lead this battle? I can go Rillaboom for the Fake Out right off the rip. He does have the Zacian with the plus one uh, attack. I definitely want to bring Palkia along on this squad. Is that a Soul Fest, which is wonderful. But he does have a lot of physical attackers. He has the Defiant Pokemon as well. Um, hmm. How does Jeans want to play this one, baby? How does Jeans want to do this? I might just go Surf Colossal here. Give me no reason really not to go Surf Colossal. It kind of covers a lot here, and we can do a lot of different things. Um, he has a Moongus. He can't put me to sleep, which I don't like. But then I can actually one tap it with Colossal, so I'm not too worried about it. I'm going to go Surf Colossal. There's no reason not to. Palkia's going to come in the back end. And then in the final spot, I'm feeling like Urshifu should come in here. Yeah, let's get Urshifu out here. Nice little back end mod with that Focus Sash. Let's get him buzzing here. But yeah, I, leading these two, I really don't have to worry about too, too much. I feel like I can just like get a clean uh, weakness policy proc off and a steam engine rolling and get buzzing from there. But I'm actually glad I'm done most of the restricted Pokemon, considering I can just branch off and use whatever team I want now and get after it and uh, use more teams that you guys have. So if you guys do have a uh, series eight teams, even if they're Pokemon I already used before, Head in the link in the description below. There's my Instagram page down there, Jeans underscore YouTube. And DM them to me over there. I would love to get my hands on them and uh, get after it. But he does leave Bacephalon alongside with his Colossus. So are we going to see like the same thing going on? We're going to see that weakness policy proccing and then uh, everyone going after it. I might I might proc his own weakness policy. That might be a thing. <laughs> I might proc his own weakness policy. But yeah, I'm just going to hit everybody with super effective move. I mean, no reason not to. And I could drop an Earth Power, I could, or I could drop a Rock and Vocal Lift damage on both of these guys. Um, I think Bocephalon is more of the threat. I mean, not Bocephalon, the Colossal is more of the threat. So I'm going to drop the Vocal Lift over onto him. And I think he's playing on uh, us just, uh, oh, do you really outspeed me, man? He outspeed me, or is this just like a speed tie and he's winning it? 
Let's see what's happening here. We're gonna see a near matchup colossal here, and I don't think he led the uh, or his surf mod or anything because of me. Maybe I'm proccing it, unless Placephalon is gonna be his uh, proccing mod. Let's just see what happens here, man, dude. Is this just a speed tie. I, I I'd be kind of upset if we lose because of the speed tie. <laughs> Because it's really going to be whoever's vocal stays alive. Well, not vocal. Whoever's uh, Colossal stays alive. We're rolling here. We're trying to get off to a strong start here. Let's see what he does. Let's see what this dude's going to make a play of. He's going to go just a Shadow Ball. He's just going to go straight Shadow Ball. And that is probably going to KO me, actually. Yeah, we're not Sash. I think he just KOs me. He's just getting after it like that. So we're not going to see a Policy proc, And I'm pretty amazed that uh, Blacephalon actually outspeeds my Dragon Ball. really don't like that one bit. And he outspeeds me. He's going to go for Volkleth, which we should be able to eat, which is nice. Considering if we eat this one, now our policy's packed in. We should be able to dump on his, uh, be able to dump on him. But now I'm going to get out Urshifu, because I'm not playing around. And I'm not playing around here. If I get out Urshifu, I should be able to one-tap this Placephalon and not even have to worry about it with an Aqua Jet. Because it's going to take some Volkleth damage, so even if it is Focus Ash, it's still going to go down. So we get rid of that. That actually worked pretty good in our favor that he beat us in a speed tie. Considering Dragapult went down, that actually worked in our benefit. If Dragapult went for a surf, we would have lost that match 100%. He would have bulk lift, took me out. His Shadow Ball would have took uh, uh, Dragapult out, and we would have lost that match easily. But bulk lift damage is coming out here. We still have Palkia, which I can go into, but I think I'd rather go into Urshifu and drop an Aqua Jet. No, Urshifu is going to get popping here. We get in after it. I think an Aqua Jet should be able to pick up the KO here. And he's going to drop a Zassian. Okay, Zassian coming out here. And Interpret Sword is going to come out as well. So hopefully Aqua Jet can take out Blacephalon. I might guard. With my what's it called? It's only, it's, it's only 40, but I seriously think we should be able to hit that. Hmm. I still think this should be able to KO. We'll, we'll, we'll check it out. I could drop a Flare. I could drop a Volkleth again. But I think Flare is going to be the play over into you to get the heat rolling and buzzing from there. But I think he takes out my, uh, my what's it called? Oh, he protects with Zazian. Okay, this could be a good turn for us. It could be a really good turn for us. Is there an Aqua Jet might be able to pick up KO? I'm hoping it does. Get him out of here. Let's go. That's a big turn for us. That is a big turn for us. He has no Dynamax Pokemon. I thought he was going to take out my Colossal with Zazian, but he ends up protecting. So we get the heat off, and uh, Blacephalon goes down. And we do some nice damage on that slot. So looking good. Looking good. So everything worked out. For the better. Everything worked out for the better, which is awesome. Full good damage gonna chip off. Uh an Aqua Chat might be able to pick up KO on that one too. Urshifu coming out here. And he has full good damage. So there goes my sash, man. Man, I really wanted my sash. That's silly fine. That's silly fine. He's gonna send out his final mod, which is gonna be Thunderous, okay. So that thing is defined, has electric moves, and I have Palkia in the back, which isn't too bad. Uh Aqua Jet, can Aqua Jet pick up the KO? Or I think what's called is just gonna outspeed them all. Urshifu should be able to just outspeed everybody here, right? Let me check the summary. 163. Oom. Um. I just drop an Aqua Jet. Hope for the KO. Let's get after it. Aqua Jet. Looking for the KO. And then we can drop a rock. If we can pull this off, that'd be big. Let's just see what he goes into. I'm going to drop an Aqua Jet. It's 163. I think I think uh, some of them are faster than us. This doesn't even come close to picking up the KO. And here goes Behemoth Blade. He's going to pick up the double KO here. Which stinks, man. I think Behemoth Blade does double damage against Dynamax Pokemon, so I'm 100% dead there. Giant Explosion. Giant Explosion. He's going to pick up the double KO, man. And then he's going to bring out oh, two physical attackers with my Assault Vest Palkia. Don't like that one bit. Wild Charge coming out here. That's going to pick up the KO. It doesn't. That's huge. Bulk with damage is going to pick up the KO, though. Okay. Uh, does Palkia, is Palkia Rock and Protect? I don't think he is. Ooh, which could be tough. Which could be real tough. Urshifu goes down and turns into a 2v1. I don't think he's rocking Protect. We have Spatial Ren, Fire Blast, Hydro Pump, and maybe Protect? No, we don't. We have Earth Power. If I had Protect, that'd be huge. If I had Protect, that'd be huge. Considering what's called goes out here. Dacian's going to die to the Volklet damage. So all I need to do is be able to eat up two shots. Or outspeed that Thunders. But I don't think I am. Oh, man. Let me see this thing speed real quick. Let me see it. 126. I think they're both outspeeding me. So we got to eat like a tank. We got a tank up here. I'm going to go for a spatial run over onto you. And we're going to get after it. 
Oh no, yo, chill on me, man, chill on me. Oh, I think this one's over. This one's looking tough for us. But still, yo, I'm really liking this team. I really am liking this team so far. If we had special attackers, I feel like we would have been fine, but he's rocking out with his physical attackers in this battle. He's gonna go for a close combat. It does a lot of damage, which does a lot of damage. That's gonna be game. He's gonna drop his stats. That does a heap amount. Miss your wild charge. Oh, he goes for a fly, but that actually works. We're gonna need him to miss his fly. Spatial Ryan's gonna miss. And Zassian's gonna go down to vocal damage. We need his fly to miss, right? That's how that's what it's gonna come down to. We need his fly to miss. He's still taking vocal damage. I'm gonna take vocal damage. We need his fly to miss. That, that, that's all it comes down to. Come on, Palkia. Yo, Palkia, put on the moves. Let's go, baby. Get your dodging skills up. Let's go. I say I gotta have pep talk with him before we go in there. Hey yo, Palkia, come here. Come here. Let me talk to you. I want to see you in my office right now. Let's go, baby. It's now or never. You got a new game coming out? You got to be on your A game. You got to be on your A game. Get it together. Get it together right now. You dodge this one. Let's go. Get the little hips moving. Get a little swizzle going. You got this, baby. Get it together here. Let's go. All right. I think he's ready. I think he's ready. We're going to drop a special run here. Looking for the miss, miss fly here. And we're going to win this match. Palkia, Palkia, Palkia. What am I going to do with you? What am I going to do with you? Close battle there for battle number one. End up losing. We're going to hop into our second battle and look for our first win with this team. So no restricted mon for this guy in battle number two. We're looking for our first win. That first battle was actually decently close. We could have made a few different calls and actually maybe won that game. But what happened is in the past. Now we're hopping into our second battle. This guy is a Heatran team. He also has Regid Lecky. Dragapult was probably holding his life orb if I had to guess. Oh, uh, he has a Tailwind Wind's Cut alongside with Rollboom and Urshfu. Okay. Um, how should I go into this? Who should I play? I definitely want to get Palkia up in here once again because I just love this Pokemon and I'm trying to show him off once again. I might go Steam Engine Colossal again. It just kind of works here. It does work up against a lot of these Pokemon, so I think that's just a, a good call. We're going to lead both of these. He might go Tailwind User, which I'm totally fine with because Steam Engine could uh, help us out a lot. And I could throw Burns or set up Light Screen. I'm going to bring Palkia and then in the final spot, do I go this Urshfu again? I mean, I kind of want to, but at the same time, he's definitely bringing Rillaboom in the back end. Or he's going to bring in, he also has the, uh, what's it called, the Regilecki. So I think Moltres might be the call. Without Life Form, I'm with it. I do like it. I do indeed like it. All right. So basically, same team. We're just we're just saying, hey, yo, uh, Urshu, you go ahead and take a seat in this back end. Just because that Aqua Jet did, like, this much damage, I think. Maybe smaller, maybe smaller. I thought it was going to do a lot more than that, but maybe if I would have actually protected it that turn, have Urshfu stay alive and then come in with a 2v2 situation and have that wild charge come towards me, Volklet could have took out, and I probably could have got a special win off. But this is who he's going to lead. He's going to lead his Poltski, which is definitely Life Orb, and uh, this guy over here. Okay. That's totally fine. I am going to drop a rock onto the Dragon Pult slot, and I am going to send a big old Surf here. Let's get after it. So try to get that vocal damage. We can take off the uh, what's called as well. We do have break and swipe, which can lower attack stats, but that's clear body probably. We're gonna drop a surf. Yeah, I think I think that's fine getting after it. Like whatever Dragapult has, we should be able to eat up just fine. We know he's gonna probably tailwind and uh, go into a. Uh... Ooh, is he rocking charm? Mm. Don't like that one bit. Don't like a charm. I could throw a burn on him. I could throw a burn on that dragon pole. It really depends how everything's going to break down here. I feel, I feel like turn one, we're fine with just going into the surf, rocking the steam engine and rolling from there. But we might have to roll a burn next turn and get rolling from there. Let's see what he does. He's going to die to pole. Okay, cool. It's it's orb or it's policy. I'm guessing it's orb. But I wouldn't be surprised if it's policy. And he's got his construction hat on, which I really do like. I really do like that outfit. Dragapult's going to get that Dynamax, and this is a cool team, considering uh, he's not using any restricted mods in the series. Well, they're not restricted anymore, but no, you guys know what I'm talking about. No, like, main legendaries that were restricted in the past. And we're going to see a double Dynamax here. Right, Heatran's not restricted. I don't believe so. I think Heatran just came in here, and, and you were allowed to use him. Oh, uh, last season, or last series, whatever you want to call it. Here comes my boy. I hope in uh, Diamond and Pearl remakes, they do have online competitive battles. That, that should be a thing. Right, that should be a thing. Considering they had it in uh, the Sapphire and Ruby remakes, Tailwind's gonna pop out here. Um, he might, he might just take out my Dragapult, which I'd be fine with. Is my Dragapult outspeed? I... Mm, my Dragapults get ripped up today, only like in one bit. 
Oh, oh! Uh. Your dragon pole outspeeds mine? Get him out of here! He's orbed. He is orbed. That's fine. Vocal team can pop out here. I'm gonna drop a big old rock on this thing. We're not proc, man. We're not proc. Dang, I'm just trying to get off. Oh, of course we don't have speed. Set up a tailwind. Set up a tailwind. What am I thinking? What am I thinking? But still, okay, there goes that. Let's just take out my boy. Maybe this one should be sashed. Uh, I could go you. I'm thinking of going you. I'm thinking, I'm thinking you right here, baby. I'm thinking about it. Um, okay, I could go into a fiery wrath if I wanted to. This isn't a bad play. I can't go into my palkia just yet. Could flare, I could do a lot here. I drop another rock. I am thinking of just uh, flaring up on you, and I could fiery wrath. But I think fiery wrath will take out that dragon pole, no problem. But I think he's just gonna take out my my Moltres. Fake tears. Oh, ooh. Oh, this thing is special attacking. Are you really special attacking here? I'm gonna go for a phantasm. Or are you physical? Are you physical or special? He's physical, I think. He's definitely gotta be physical, right? It's gonna be a big turn for us. He's gonna drop our defense. On both of our Pokemon. But Dragapult should go down here, I'm thinking. Yes, okay. Dragapult goes down. Wimscott should go down here. Alright, I'm liking that. I'm liking that a lot. Okay, so he has Tailwind. We still have Poke in the back. Um, I still have one turn left in Dynamax, but he's going to be able to outspeed me and probably do a lot of work there. And we still have Volkleth for two turns after this, which is wonderful. It's just dandy. There you go. Wimscott going. Alright. We're playing pretty solid. We're not playing bad, but they're, they're really close battles. These are really close battles. But I can still see him winning this all day, even though we have it's a 3v1. My my what's called on this last limb. My Colossus is on this last limb, and he has two turns left in uh, tail. Uh, let's see what he throws. He's going to throw out the Heat Train, which is definitely very, very scary. I know he's Flash Fired, and he has Earth Spoo. And is this Dark Earth Spoo? Can we, he can hit through Protect, so I am actually very scared of that. I can Quake. But, uh, uh, do I just drop another rock? They're both physical, so it's, it's not really doing much here. Hmm. Volkleth could come through. Let me just drop a rock at that stab damage. As much as I want to protect, I cannot protect. I'll just go for an air slash. Because he's going to hit my, uh... Actually, I could have protected there. Let's see what happens here. Wicked Blows can come through. No, he is going to go after my Moltres. See, good thing I didn't protect. He would just hit right through it. We do end up beating, which is wonderful. Do not go for Heat Wave. Do not do it. Berserk Krokin, dude. If he doesn't go for Heat Wave, uh, we're sitting real pretty here. Goes for Heat Wave. Miss my Moltres. <gasps> oh. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Let's go. Yo, Volkland's going to take out this uh, Urshfu, if, even if it's Sash. Air Sash comes through. Oh, oh, baby. Oh, it's not even Sash. Yo, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> See, yo, Moltres is making up for Palkia not dodging that last turn. It's a 1v1. We're sitting in a 1v1. He's taking some damage here. And I got my Palkia out here. Which water is not going to do too, too much here. But we do a fire, but we cannot go in the fire. Um, we go for stab water? What's the play here? So this one's going to be close. Let's go, Palks. Let's go, baby. Pressure's on. Pressure's on. <laughs> Um, I could go Earth Power. I could go Hydro Pump. I think Earth Power is gonna be the play. Even though we're stabbed here. So how much does it take out? How much does heat take out? Is it half? Does it half the damage? Harsh sunlight. Harsh sunlight. It lowers it boosts fire, but it lowers what? Well super effective kind of like collect that. I think Earth Power is gonna be the player. I think Earth Power is 100% the player. He's gonna go for an Earth Power. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What you mean? Going for Earth Powers on me. Oh, yeah. Palky is, Palky is eating this one up all day. Earth Power comes out here. Oh, he's Shuka. He's rocking the Shuka, but we eating shots. We are eating shots. He's Shuka buried. We're still doing a lot. Yeah, that was the play. He would have been dead after that one. And there goes Vocalith. Will Vocalith pick up the KO? We did it, baby. We did it. Let's go. Yo, Moltres with that clutch dodge and picks up our win in our second battle. Let's go.
Should I just chalk this last battle up as an L for us? Look at this guy's team. He's one of the best teams in the meta right now. He's got the Tornadus Kai Ogre meta team. Like, this is the staple team that everybody uses. This is exact team. He's got the Moongus with the Incineroar, Kartana, Regilecki, and then the two main, like I said, was Kai Ogre and Tornadus. Very tough team to play up against, but we're going to try to get off and try to get ourselves a winning record in today's video. But if you guys do have some cool teams with Pokemon that aren't really used on the rank ladder that's like off meta teams, I would love to get them because now that we use a bunch of meta teams, I feel like some off meta teams are due for this channel considering they're a lot of fun to play and you guys like to watch them as well considering like the meta just gets boring after a while after you just like constantly use it i would love to get uh some off meta teams rocking out on the channel once again but um i don't know who i should lead here i want to go into the colossal but he's going to take weather control and he's going to be able to just dominate me and roll from there um the tornadas the tornadas i do have taunt i do have taunt on real boom but then this thing is prankster I kind of do want to still lead the Rillaboom. And maybe we could take out the Tornadus in one shot. If I fake out and maybe uh, get after it with the Moltres. I could Dynamax the Moltres. I think we're going to go here, here with that. And then I could go with you. Urshfu is not bad. Urshfu is not bad here. Or I can set up a Lay Tomb. I'm going to go uh, Urshfu here. We're going we're gonna to keep the Steam Engine combo uh, out of here. I just feel like the weather control with uh, Kyogre is just tough to play up, play up with that. But he's, he, I do have Fake Out, which is huge, which is huge. So like, he can't just like rock out up against me, go for Tailwind, and then just hit me hard with a Water Spout. So let's see what we can do. He goes with Kyogre and it's got to be Tornas, right? And Amoongus. And Amoongus. Okay, so we go Roll Boom and Moltres. Okay. Okay, I'm with it. He's going to set the Drizzle. Drizzle's kind of scary, but we do pose a pretty big threat here. We do pose a pretty big threat here. We do have the Grassy Surge rolling. I can go for a Grassy Glide. This thing is probably Koba Buried, if I had to guess, right? I can taunt that thing. Do I taunt it, or do I go for a Grassy Glide? I feel like I taunt him. Instead of faking out. And I start speed boosting. Or I can fake out. Maybe see a swap from the Kyogre. Maybe see a swap. From, maybe see a swap from the Kyogre. No, I'm going to Dynamax. I'm going to Airstream. That's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do. Well, we're not going to make the, the hard read. And see if this thing uh, swaps and maybe try to get off an Nancy Pot. And then if we don't get it, we lose the match. That's just, that's high risk. That's really, really high risk. But if I would have done that and it would have paid off, that would have been an easy win. But still, it was high risk. And sometimes just the high risk plays are not worth it. So he doesn't swap back Kyogre, which is big. Is he going to die next? We're going to fake you out. I'm going to go with a simple play. Chip you up a little bit. He's probably Koba Buried if I had to guess. I'm going to go for a Water Spell, which my Pokemon should be able to eat up. Still doing a ridiculous amount of damage. My Berserk is proc, which I really like. And is this in Koba Berry? Probably is if I had to guess. It is. Can we still KO? That's where Berserk plus one. Let's see what happens here. This thing is going to flinch. I can go for a Grass Guy next turn. And we still pick up the KO. That's huge. That is huge. Alright, so we're up on the speed board. I think a Grass Guy should be able to take out this Kyogre, but I might double up into it just in case. I have plus one on speed, plus one on attack. And we're able to eat up a Water Spell. And the question is going to be... Is he going to bring out Tornadus? Did he bring Tornadus? That's my question. If he did, he's going to bring him out right now. But I don't I don't know if he did. That's going to be a tough one. He's going to bring out... Yes. He's going to set up a Tailwind. And I cannot taunt. I'm just going to go straight for a Grass Guy. Try to do as much damage as I can up onto you. And I am going to Airstream to try to... Uh, just try to meet him on the speed board. Actually, I could protect. I could guard here. I think I'd rather airstream. Or would, I, or would I rather guard? Who do I have in the back end? Who's going to be able to come out uh, next turn and say he goes out? Go for an Aqua Jet next turn. I think guarding is going to be the player. Yeah, I'm going to guard here. Rescue Guy is going to be able to do a decent amount of damage. He's going to set up the 10 win, like I said. Um, Alright. Let's see what he does. Because my grass guy. Can we KO with this? It's gonna be maybe we can. 
We do. Wonderful, yo. Kai. Okay, let's go. Let's go. So I couldn't just airstream. That would have been probably the ideal play. But I went with the safer play. Like that one, I should have went for the, the airstream. Kyogre's gone, yo. We're buzzing right here. We still have Palkia in the back end. Tornas, I'm really not too worried about. This should be a sign max mod, and it's gonna be Kartana. Um, I guess I'll taunt. I don't know what I should do here. I guess I'll glide and actually take off that thing, Sash, and maybe go for an airstream. Try to just pick up a KO on you. He's gonna. Uh, this one's gonna be close. This one's gonna be tough, though. This one's gonna be real tough. I don't know what it, how we're gonna do this one. But I think that Cartana is gonna set up here. He's gonna Dynamax, uh, get a plus one attack boost, and then he has speed advantage. He's gonna start bulking. He has Dynamax turns. He might he might end up winning this one. Oh no, he's gonna go. Ooh, gonna go Tornadas. Okay. Kind of like that a little bit more because I think he only has air streams. But still, that's tough. That is tough. This guy's gonna do absolutely nothing on him. So good thing we didn't taunt him. This guy. Doing a little bit of damage. He might have been Sash. Let's see what happens from here. I'm gonna go for an airstream. He's gonna pick up the KO on my Rillaboom. Or no, on my Moltres. Dude, Moltres eats. That might have been a mistake by him. This Carton is gonna take out the uh, Rillaboom. And we might be able to take out that uh that Tornadus here. I'm gonna go for an aerial ace. That's gonna pick up the KO. He's gonna go plus one on his stat board. And we're hoping. We're hoping this can KO. Moltres is a beast. We got the life orb and we have plus one here on the board. Beast boost is proccing. Let's go, Moltres. Yo, let's go, baby. Yo, we eating today. We eating. Getting after it. Get him out of here. We do have Aqua Jet. We do have Aqua Jet. That's huge. In the rain. Okay, so I don't have to worry about you. We do have Aqua Jet in the rain. We're bringing him out. Palkia, you stay in the back. You stay in the back. Your backseat rider today. We gotta come out with you. I'm an Aqua Jet. And then I'm a. Try to do as much damage as I can over onto the uh, We are Sash as well, which is huge. So Aqua Jets can come through. And do I just Air Slash or do I Fiery Wrath? Put Fiery Wrath. It's gonna do more. I mean, Air Slash, we can get a flinch. Could protect. Now nah, we're gonna go for his. Uh... Hmm. This can also make him flinch. Both good. They're both good. I guess we go for Fiery Wrath here. So, uh, someone let me know in the comment section down below. This double hitting moves, I always got confused by this, but Aqua Jet picked up the KO. But this double hitting moves do more damage if one Pokemon's on the field. Like, does it split damage? Say it's 90 power. Does it go 40 40? Or, I mean, not 40 40, 45 45? Or is it still 90 90 on each side? I don't know how it goes. But Moltres is going to go down here. That's totally fine. This thing's going to be Beast Boosted plus two. I still have Urshfu with a Sash. Oh, this is tough. This one's going to be close. I still have you. With a fire blast. If I can get off a fire blast, that could be good, but it is still raining. When does the rain stop? That's my question. Who use the rain to my advantage? Well, I do have close combat. We're dropping this thing with close combat, and I'm getting off with a fire blast. You know it's gonna be left? Like, it's still times four. It's still times four. This is our best bet move to go into. Leaf Blade coming in here, eat this up. Oh no, we have, we're Sash. That is wonderful. Sash is coming out. And I think close combat should be able to just pick up the KO, right? We gg in. Let's go, baby. Let's get it. Let's go. 2 and 1 with today's video. I absolutely love this team. Palkia on it is amazing with that soul vest, but all around it has a bunch of other Pokemon to back you up and get you that win. I absolutely love this team that we used today. Shout out to my boy Mamby for actually making it and dropping it as a rental code. It is amazing considering Palkia is like the heart and soul of this team, but it has so many other Pokemon and so many other ways to actually use this team to counter the meta. It is just awesome. You got the Life Orb, Moltres, you have the Steam Engine Colossal with the Dragapult combo, and then you have the Palkia with that Assault Vest, and then the two back end Pokemon of Rollaboom and Urshfu to counter a lot of the meta Pokemon. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.